Gonna kill my nemesis! We go! The thing that has developed very organically over a decade with Rick is he's rather unique. And the unique thing about him is not how smart he is, but rather how he, deep down, is different on an emotional level. Wow, the wife guy! Dead wife Rick! I'll tell you, this guy does not know when to quit. I'm gonna fucking kill you! When Rick Prime invented interdimensional travel, he wanted to cajole less fortunate versions of himself into a kind of boys club, but the number one rule of joining that boys club is you gotta let go of your family. Our Rick is the Rick that walked away from all of that, and that cost him. You never told me he killed your wife across infinity. We learned this crazy truth in this episode, which is that Diane didn't just get killed by Rick Prime. Rick Prime erased Diane from all realities everywhere. Rick decided nothing would be more valuable in his life than hunting down that one version of himself that made this happen. But there are parts of us that might cost us the things that we really want. What? Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Knock yourself out. Listen, Rick to Rick, he's got the weapon plans. There's an implicit choice there where Evil Morty is giving Rick a decision where you can either stay in here and beat the shit out of this guy until he's dead, which is what you supposedly have always wanted. And while you're doing that, that's gonna be the reason why I'm walking away with the power to destroy everything you ever care about. What's your life without me? Let's find out. <laughs> When I read that in the script, Rick punches him until he's dead. It made perfect sense. It didn't need to be anything more elaborate than that. We've just seen all the gadgetry of these two guys in the fight scene. And now we just have one guy using his wit to taunt another guy who's just using his fist. I love how it gets shaved down to just brutal basics for this scene. He chose to seek vengeance, and we end the episode with that weapon in Evil Morty's control. Evil Morty is actually the more powerful villain, and powerful villains don't just hide from you or fight you, they own you. That's something a real god does. How's it feel? Better? No? Exactly the same? Yeah, it always does. Killing Rick Prime is just the beginning for Rick, because now the rest of his life can begin. Who is Rick now that his vengeance is not there anymore? Can Rick be happy? after he finally accomplished the goal that's driven him for decades. The thing that throws Rick off is the realization that he gets to do whatever he wants for the rest of his short life. And you have no more excuses. Now what do you do?